president's table for November. My name is Dan Jones, the president of Texas A&M University Commerce, and uh, we welcome you to the, our, our uh, program for this month. We have a lot of great things going on around the university this fall. Uh, in addition to dealing with the first cold weather of the season, uh, we have our athletic program is uh, going great guns with a couple of championship uh, championship teams uh, in operation, still playing. And uh, a lot of great things happening in, in other aspects of the university as well. For today's program, we're going to focus on three areas. And uh, the first will be uh, with a focus on faculty. And I am pleased to have as uh, my guest for this first segment, Dr. Julie McElhaney, who is the director of the uh, Faculty Center for Excellence and Innovation. And Felicity Grandjean. Yes. How do I do? Great. All right. <laughs> who is a, the, a faculty developer, and she'll tell us in a minute uh, what that means. So, uh, Dr. McElhaney, let me just start with you. Uh, if you could tell us a little bit about what is the Faculty Center for Excellence and Innovation. I know we used to call it the Faculty Center for Teaching with Technology, and this was uh, the, uh, the unit within Academic Affairs, which was devoted to providing support for all of our uh, faculty members who were either teaching online or using technology mm -hmm. in some other creative way uh, to support their courses. And of course, you still do that. That's still a big Correct. part of what you do. But uh, renaming it the Faculty Center for Excellence and Innovation was, was very intentional. So tell us a little bit about uh, the mission of the unit and uh, what are the things that you spend your time on? Okay. Well, as you had mentioned formally, we were the Faculty Center for Teaching with Technology. And at that point, we were still part of um, the CIO's world right. or, or information technology the mm -hmm. side group yes and that was primarily focusing on technology heavily but we were still assisting faculty with the development of their fully online courses their blended mm -hmm. courses enhanced courses of course our learning management system we use Pearson Learning Studio or eCollege right um, so we're still doing a lot of that we were dealing with with the technology in the classroom um, we're still doing that. Um, we have added uh, an area with LMS um, coordination. We have an LM LMS coordinator so uh, that we can make... For our listeners, our viewers, LMS Learning Management System. Learning Management System, system right. again, which is Pearson Learning Studio or eCollege. All the technology that, behind all the uh, correct. Uh, electronic delivery. In order to make sure that we're servicing faculty in terms of any um, support issues on a daily basis or enhancements that faculty may request that we can partner with them with our um, learning management system, mm -hmm. e-college um, vendor. Um, we have a learning management system coordinator, uh, Jeremy Gomez, who is making sure that everything we do with that learning management system, we have that support. We are um, kind of driving what our vendor is doing, so it's right. meeting our needs here for our university because we're one of their biggest customers here in the state. Right. Um, and then also um, we do video recordings for courses. So we do have a video production studio for, for instructional video production. Mm -hmm. um, so that was all part of the former um, center. In May, we did a transition where we are now under academic affairs um, underneath the provost. And with that, are more focusing on more expanded faculty development, getting right. into Andrew Goji in terms of teaching, and um, that's where uh, Dr. Ajahn is, is came on board with um, as a faculty developer helping us in that area. The mission changed to... If, if I can interrupt for a sure. second before we uh, get off technology, um, and this is, uh, I'll, I'll ask it in the form of a question, but it's really a bragging point, and that is, um, in terms of uh, the proportion of courses that we offer online, how do we compare with other institutions in that regard, in regard either online or uh, web assisted or web enhanced, something like that? Well, within the system, we are certainly still um, ahead of the game within mm -hmm. the A&M system. We have about 43% of a section of our a section of our online courses that are uh, that um, or of courses, I should say, that are fully online. Right. Um, we're also doing a lot of degree programs that are Correct, available, especially right. in the area, the School of Business, a criminal justice area. Mm -hmm. um, but even in blended courses, enhanced courses, we're using that technology to provide resources to students or teachers and instruction. Um, so it's more than just an online classroom, it's also a kind of a resource center for, right. for these classes. Right. And of course, it's no longer just either face-to-face -face or online. Uh, even yes. the face-to-face -face classes use a lot of technology enhancements 
Uh, we have hybrid courses where the, the course may meet in person uh, once a month, twice a semester, everything else is delivered online and so forth. So there's Correct. a lot of, there's a lot of, of uh, mixing and matching, so to mm -hmm. speak. Mm -hmm. um, Felicity, let me turn to you and, and tell us exactly what a faculty developer does. Yes, so my role um, at the Faculty Center basically is to look at faculty at their various levels of professional development from starting as adjunct faculty or new uh, tenure track faculty all the way to the seasoned tenured faculty. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in the process of developing several different programs to cater to all the different faculty at the various professional development stages. Good. And that's so important for a university to invest in its faculty. Yes. Uh, obviously, that's our most uh, valuable resource. <coughs> and you know, faculty members are always learning, always growing, and always looking for new ways uh, to do what they do better. Mm -hmm. And that's where the, the second half of the name of your unit comes in, uh, excellence and innovation. Mm -hmm. uh, either one of you, uh, where does the innovation part come into to what you do? How do you help uh, faculty members um, innovate in terms of the, the kinds of courses they're teaching, the kinds of curriculum they're developing, the way they teach, so forth and so on. How does innovation fit into the mission? Well, you can think about innovation in a variety of ways. Uh, one is actually technology, mm -hmm. and one is looking at creative mm -hmm. um, ways to just enhance the teaching and learning in the classroom. We just recently came uh, from a pod network conference and we were very inspired to, to find out that several of our programs in development are on trend with current um, uh, other faculty centers that have been in existence for 10 really? or 20 years. Yes, and well, so. Congratulations. Yes, we're very excited. Yeah. And so finding ways to inspire creativity and problem solving in the classroom, we, we really want to uh, hone in on, on assisting faculty with with new ways of teaching and mm -hmm. um, fostering learning in the classroom. Right, and of course, this is what our students are, are demanding. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, they, they're growing up and they have grown up in a digital world. Um, they're used to getting content in a whole variety of ways. And uh, the Faculty Center for Excellence and Innovation is ensuring that we are being responsive to their to their needs, to their learning styles, to the diversity uh, in the ways that they acquire and process information. So. This unit is one of the ways that this university uh, maintains its uh, edge at uh, it, its in edge of innovation. I think exactly. is the best place. And the other the other part of that innovation is on the faculty side. Besides the instruction, is that we're also looking like an electronic portfolio for faculty tenure and promotions. So right. we're in the process right now of of doing some investigation and involving faculty in that process from the start in terms of what tool right. will work for them. So innovation that way as yeah, well. Yeah, we have just a few seconds left, but if you could talk just very briefly about your advisory committee that you, that you put together. Okay, the advisory committee, again, is made up of faculty um, represented from each of the colleges for the purpose of getting input in terms of how can we assist faculty mm -hmm. for them to um, have the, what they need to do their job well. Right. Well, Dr. Julie McElhaney and uh, Dr. Felicity Grandjean, I feel like we just kind of scratched the surface, but unfortunately we've run out of time. Congratulations on the great work that you're doing, and uh, we look forward to more great things coming from the Faculty Center for Excellence and Innovation. So thank you for being my guest here today. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment uh, with our next uh, uh, program on uh, the President's Table. Thank you. <laughs>